this work is very rewarding because you actually look after somebody back to health and they tell you thank you with a thank you alone is really good and have you get a good feeling out of it and then oh oh I don't need your service anymore but thank you it's very good so people doing similar things to what you're doing yes we've, we've got competition wow. which is good okay which is good because then it, it gives you you get to know the good ones yeah. and the bad ones we've sure. got we've got a lot of competition and uh, people are people doing their work but it's what you do counts I've interviewed all types of different professions, but I haven't interviewed a nurse that has moved over from the UK and set up advanced home healthcare right here in Accra. I want to find out why you would move as a nurse to Ghana. How is it going here? I know that she visits a lot of clients at home. She trains a lot of nurses and just how the journey has been for her. Does she still keep her NMC in the UK? Well, find out as I speak to Mrs. Biney. Hey! Hello! <laughs> oh! How are you? Very well, very well. So oh. this is advanced healthcare. Yes, it wow. is. Yes. In the UK, you can make a lot of money if you're doing agency. Yes, I do. A oh, lot of we money. Do, we do, we do. <laughs> what triggered you to come back home? Well, I moved back home because I wanted to come and live here. This is home, but England is home too. Yeah. And my last job that I did was history nursing. And I said, I could bring this home right. and start gradually. It's always been my passion to help old people or help people who are sick. So when I came in, it was been difficult, but we are getting somewhere. In Ghana, it's usually family members looking after the elderly. You don't really see nurses coming into it because it's like, oh, Busuyano, Yare, Busuyano will look after. So how were you able to break that and get a nurse to be able to go to people's homes? Sometimes Ghanaians, they might not want you to come to the home, etc. How was that for you? It was quite difficult, but what we realized that we were advertising social media and other things, but we realized referral. I've looked at this person's okay. mother. So that's how we are able to get into the family and you'll be surprised when I go in to look after someone you see everyone so tensed but as soon as you give them a nurse okay. go back a few days later it's just a stress because okay. they can actually go out and know there's somebody responsible looking after um, their relative right, for them right. that is what that my passion and that's what I find so rewarding the target group is People like 50 plus, 60, they have elderly mothers. Yeah. What they do is, when they are work, you can actually go and look after them and they can also work in peace. So you're saying that having a nurse come in mm -hmm. actually relieves the family of stress. It does. Anxiety. Yes. All of that. Yes, it does. Because they know that there's somebody medical that's taken. Yes. Okay. It does. Okay. And that's how I get other clients. Okay. Because, oh, this person looked after my mother and she did a very good job or my father right. or my child or yes. Okay. So we're in your office in Jolu. Yes. We're in Jolu. Yes. You just moved offices. Yeah. Can you show me around? Yes, this is the administration. administration. Okay. I mean, this is where everything happens. Okay. The nurse supervisor sits here. Okay. The one who registered the nurses that actually come in. Okay. She, she sits here too. She okay. supervises and she knows, deals with the clients. The clients she always communicating. Okay. Yeah, yes, this okay. is, and also looks after the nurses. Their skill mix, the okay. kind of. So do you do training for the nurses? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll show you where okay. we do the training. So, and uh, that's the admin. Okay. We give them uniforms. Okay. Yes, do it. So they're supposed to wear uniforms. Oh, like we've got nursing beds. We've got... And we also sell 
medical items. Oh, okay. Yes, so it's like a one-stop shop. Oh, okay. Once you get to us, if you need beds, we can give you beds. If you need mattresses, pressure relief, so many things, diapers, oh, just fantastic. to help with looking at the, the person easy. Okay. So, and there's also the stress of going around looking for, I want this, I want mm. that. So I source it out, both from UK and China. Also reading, always reading to find out what the new things, the things yeah. that we can use on yeah. the clients. That means when you go into a home, you can yeah. recommend that actually this we person needs a pressure bed. Yes, or... we, we don't force people to actually buy. We okay. recommend, you know, sometimes manual handling, it affects the back. I mean, where the kind of bed that the client lies yeah. on affects the back of the, the nurse. Nurses. So we tell them, you know, to help us I mean, look after your client better so that the person don't get pressure or lying on one side, yeah. to keep turning and making it easy for yeah. the person. Yeah. It's better if you get a hospital bed. And they buy into it because... Okay. Yes. And it helps you, the nurse, as well. It does, it does. That's how we often break our backs oh, yeah. <laughs> when we years. don't have... You know, depending. You know, my nurses are young. They're all registered with the, the right authorities, NMC and all that. And as you can see, we've, we, are, we have all the registration yes certificates yes. so if you're setting up something like this you have to register with the nmc you have to because if you're a nurse definitely under them then that's my office okay ceo yeah that's where the thinking does <laughs> <laughs> that's why i think oh wow yeah. i found this in the i found this on facebook aching bag chat fingers yes <laughs> stains on uniform yes tired feet yes full bladder yes empty stomach yes <laughs> warm heart definitely eyes that have seen it all oh. absolutely that's so true yeah wow. Wow. we are in transition yeah so yeah. we are making use of what we have right the nurses are trained here okay we do any two-day induction where they have basic like support okay. they have um, ethics in nursing they have an ex-policeman who comes to teach them about fraud and all because oh. yes and then we have communication why fire. fraud why did you incorporate that i did because we started having little challenges with some nurses before you start know that certain thing you can't go to your client's home and take pictures of the house no and put it on it's fraud isn't it's it true. and put it like it's your house basic life of support mm -hmm. you know that don't yep. you <laughs> and fire we actually had a client whose house got burnt and my nurse was brave enough to go and pick up that lady from her room oh my goodness. to another place and the whole house got burnt wow. so if this lady hadn't had the fire training, training. wow so see how yeah this has helped their work oh. and then so you know when you go into a home are there like we were saying about you know getting a bed etc mm -hmm. are there things that you also require the family to get do you bring your own gloves like what are the things that we, you uh, expect yes. from a family to also supply for you well we expect the family to actually give us gloves but now my package we give gloves on the first okay. assessment okay. but the, with the packages some of them also, I've shared in my packaging such that you get your gloves every month, okay. disposable aprons. Okay. Yes, so then if we give it to you once, the rest you buy yourself. But with another package, we give you the first and you buy the rest. Okay. And we talk about infection control. Mm. We let them buy black bags and disinfectants. Yeah. And also that my nurse, we teach them when you get up, you clean the client's room, the doorknobs, the, the place that you hold. We all do that on the day of induction. Okay. That's why we take registered nurses, yeah. healthcare registered healthcare assistants, so because they are aware, they've been trained, sure. they understand. Yeah. So then we just build on that. Mm -hmm. Our regular visit and supervision also helps with looking after the clients. Okay. Yes. And what about infection control, your yellow bins, disposing of needles, etc. Yes. How are you able to? When we used to be in the other place, we have to let a zoom line. You, there's a, a correct way of disposing it. Okay. But over here, we don't do any clinicals. Okay. Yes. Okay. So clinicals happens in their home. So I supply the sharp pins okay. to the to client. The okay. Yes. If we have anyone who needs it. Okay. But we have yellow bins when we have dressings, when okay. we're doing dressings, we teach them how to dispose of it the right way. So I think now we're going to go over to a client. Yes, we are. Do you still get your hands dirty? Oh, yes. <laughs> you have to yeah. because you are the face. Yeah. 
sometimes I speak and I just visit them okay. without their knowledge and okay. sometimes you get yes, or checks and sometimes I find that you know, they are not so then you, you question them and you tell them sure no that. do this yeah. yes. So are you in the homes full time or is it like certain times that you're in the homes or it depends on the client? It depends on the clients. Okay. We have a 24-hour care, we have 12-hour care, wow. and we have where you want your client to be there for only four hours. Okay. So we have a package which is up to eight hours, okay. up to 12 hours, okay. and then 24 hours, okay. yes. You do respite care too? We do respite care. Okay. I Fantastic, so we're gonna go over to see her client, and I mean, we're still gonna continue the conversation. Being assistants for the past seven years, we've had a few who've passed on, but this work is very rewarding because you actually look after somebody back to health and they tell you thank you with a thank you alone is really good and have you get a good feeling out of it and then oh oh I don't need your service anymore but thank you it's very good so I love doing this work. You know, in life, in everything, you go through challenges. But what I tell my nurses also, that that's the reason why we are there for challenges. We try and solve problems for them. Sometimes it's the kind of nurses we get, the kind of, and the kind of patients we get too, and the kind of also relatives we get. We have a, a whole lot of mix, but we try and work with all. Okay, so we're here to see one of Araba's clients. So when you come, typically, what happens when you come and see your client? We just come to check on the client, how they're doing, how the nurses are taking care of them. Okay. We check the notes okay. and to find out how often they are eating, drinking, and how other medical stuff okay. goes on. Okay. And then, so you have a document in your hand. Can we just yeah, go back? That's my monitoring tool okay. I made myself. Okay. So I check on how the personal hygiene I check on if the patient herself has their, does their own personal hygiene, okay. or they do for the person. Okay. Continent care, how many times they change their diaper, or how many times they just go to the toilet okay. themselves. The nutrition, the type of food they have, whether it's a period diet or a proper no, diet, and whether they eat all the food or half of the food, right. a quarter, it's all recorded. What I intake. We also check on the number of cups they have or bottle. Okay. We let them know the kind of and um, how much water they're they supposed need. to. But we still check okay. their bowel habits, skin integrity, and um, also we also ask any concerns. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so these are things that I need okay. to find out. Okay. Yes. And then, yeah. so what happens when maybe their vitals and things are not looking great? Do you then refer them to a hospital? Yes, we do. Okay. Actually, when we admit them, we ask them for the personal doctor or the pe doc any doctor's okay. number they are with and we sometimes take a copy and send whatsapp it to the doctor okay. to let them know that this is what the readings they've had for the past week okay. or two weeks but they are supposed to report daily basis so if there's any unusual vitals they send it to us okay. yes Fantastic. yes so okay. that's what they do that's why they report okay. all the time to us yes this is naomi Okay. One of my nurses. Okay, yeah. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Naomi. Meet Denta. Lady oh. Denta. Not Denta. <laughs> they lady, lady. The <laughs> whole lady. How are you? <laughs> okay, awesome. Bye, thank you. So what are those things that you do before you kind of see your patient? Oh, before we attend to the patient, we wash our hands. So I have to wash my hands? Okay. <laughs> Hello. One of the things that we really need as a nurse is hygiene, hand washing is so important. And um, so I'm glad that, you know, um, Araba is showcasing that, the importance of hand washing. And in Ghana, do they have the grading system like we have in the UK? 
band five, band six. Okay. They do have, that's in the hospitals. We do healthcare assistants, okay. we have staff nurses, okay. then senior we go nurses. to senior nurses. Okay. Then, but with me, it's kind of different. Okay. Yeah. I told you sometimes when we are working, then the government also takes them back into the system. Okay. So they, Reabsorb, okay. and then we also go Get for new, new ones. ones. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. We've had this client for over a year, okay. and we have two nurses working for her. We have Naomi here, and um, she's here for two weeks, and then she goes off for two weeks. Okay. But then another nurse comes, comes for in. that period oh. that she's off. Yes. Okay. So this is how we do it. She works for twelve hours okay. because the clients sleep throughout the okay. night. They don't need to attend okay. to the clients, so they they look after the client during the day. Awesome. Yes. So a patient like this with dementia, what things? they need from you basically with this particular we need every care okay yes yeah. the, the nutrition you have to look at the nutrition aspect you have to look at the fluid intake yeah. aspect you have to also make sure the personal hygiene yeah. bowel habits mobility massages right. how is it like looking after a family member in a family home because I know pediatric nurse and I remember you know working in the hospital you're not just looking after the the child you're actually looking after the parent the grandparents everyone that comes in yes has kind of a say in, yes. in this. that's the reason why we do a care plan okay. and we let the client also the relatives accept the care plan okay. so we are all involved looking after the the patient it's not only the nurse they're all involved because sometimes they need to understand certain things yeah. that you are doing True. and if you don't involve them how will they understand you see right. so this is how we do so we're all involved and there's lots of allaying anxiety always reassuring them yeah. it's going to be okay or or is the way we can do it this way is better this person oh i don't think mom likes this food Okay. Can we do this food better? Okay. Or, you see, so this is these are the things okay. we are all involved, and we okay. have to. Okay. Yeah. And do you prepare food sometimes, or do you get the family to do a meal plan, which they deliver, or do you get outside caterers to do that? We we don't prepare food. We allow the family members okay. to do that. So if we allow them to prepare food, the client might fall, or things accidents can happen. So we don't prepare food. Sometimes we allow them to prepare the food, or we we just. Heat and dish out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And also infection control. Mm. The kind of work we do, mixing with food. Right. It doesn't it's, work. It doesn't work. Yeah. 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 Mm. So a lot of hand washing, a lot of. A lot um, of hand washing, yeah. a lot of uh, putting the was it sanitizer, Sizes, yeah. yes, on gloves and gloves, aprons and aprons, stuff. Aprons, yes. Do you sometimes teach the families? So, for instance, CPR. Are you teaching the families? Um, we are not teaching the family. Okay. That, this is something that we can actually also okay. look into okay. at the moment, in the near future. Yeah. yeah, getting every. But because I really, really want a lot of people also to know the basic life support. Yeah. Because it's good for everyone. Yeah. yeah, sometimes when we take on the nurse, we do the induction and we keep the nurses and we give it to the client, we supply it. But we don't really. Um, okay. get the family involved but it would be a good idea yeah. that's a good suggestion yeah. which I will be prepared to take yeah, it no, I think it's on. good yeah. and so how do you see the nursing industry in Ghana compared mm -hmm. to where you're coming from the UK you've been a nurse for many years you know you're a senior nurse and you have a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. and a lot of skills that you've brought back home yeah. how have you been able to adjust you know into the Ghana system because we do have a system where we have our own system and a w our own way of doing things how have you been able to manage and sustain because you haven't been this is not just one year you've been here for many years now and you're fully grounded you have a business it's going well um, what would you say are some of the differences and some of the things um, that you have seen here to be very honest I trained here Okay. So it makes it easy for me to okay. just get into the system. So we, we have very, very good nurses, mm. very gentle nurses, very um, skilled and knowledgeable nurses. Okay. Okay. One Ghana. of the things, I brought some NHS nurses from the UK to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they said was that they felt as if Ghanaian nurses, to your point, knew more and did more because in the UK, we have blood pressure machines. We have so many machines that helps us with so many things. But here is like, it's manual. Yeah. A lot of things are manual. When I was training, it was more of improvising. Wow. So we had to learn how to improvise with everything. Yeah, because Such. they were saying that for them, they, 
don't use manual they yeah. use the machines and so when the machine is not working it's hard for know. them to get the reading because yeah, they're like I, but they said the guardian nurses they know it they, they know, know the they know and it, yeah. it's so easy to know and yeah. you tell the difference between the manual yeah. and it gives you the precise yeah the true. machine can give you a different reading and your you do the manual, manual can also true. give you a different reading. so it was they, they, they are very good grounded nurses mm. it's just sometimes with me, I in the, when I was in the UK, one of the things that I felt that nurses lacked was customer care. Okay. And it's not here only. Okay. It's, it's everywhere. A, yeah, it's everywhere. There as well, yeah. Yes. So one of my the station I wrote on customer care okay. in nursing to actually bring it. But you know what? A lot of people are doing that now. They are bringing customer care into nursing, yeah. which is a very good thing. Because we, we we look at we're going to look at the client. We're going to look at the patient. That's it. That's yeah. how we do. But we don't understand that. Oh, why don't you look look at them, looking after them mm. from their point of view? Mm. How mm. would you feel if this happened to you? Mm. Yes, mm. this is how we it's have true. to. Yes, yes. And then mm. also, like I can see that this place is very clear, clean, um, etc. How are you able to also? encourage the families because we know that you know if you're going to be doing CPR and everything they always say that everything must be clear neat you know because you never know when you're gonna how you've been able to instill that in the families in a lot of my clients are bit down so okay. it's it gives them the space okay. and the, um, actually the room to do things like CPR and all of that okay. yeah awesome. but a place like this they've been taught how to do go about it awesome. so with that she would you know what to do actually get the client to get on the floor and, okay. and uh, try CPR okay. and, and, that right. and, and, and then yeah. are your clients just based in Accra do you go to Kumasi Cape Coast like we go everywhere. Okay. We've even been to the north before. Wow. Yes, we've actually been to the north, the nest, and we with the nest were in Accra, oh, and then we're going okay. to the north. Okay. So, so we go everywhere. Okay. We go everywhere. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. You said that most of your clients are from word of mouth, from referrals, from other, you know, patients that you've cared for. Mm -hmm. is, that, yes. is that correct? Yes, yes. And also from, from um, adverts too, okay. but uh, mostly word of mouth. Word of mouth. Uh, from other people we've cared for. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, we do. And do you see a lot of people doing similar things to what you're doing? Yes, we've, we've got competition, wow. which is good. Okay. Which is good because then it, it gives you, you get to know the good ones yeah. and the bad ones. We've, sure. got, we've got a lot of competition and uh, people are people doing their work, but it's what you do counts. And yeah. It's what you do. Yeah. Counts. It's not the number of people out there doing the same work. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. How do you see yourself in the next few years? Do you see yourself opening a nursing home for the elderly? What is your vision for advanced home healthcare? My vision is to have a respite. Oh place. really? Yes. Okay. With good scenery. Wow. So it will be slightly outside Accra. Okay. That's my vision. Okay. Yes, where people can come and have a respite care. Mm. Because I believe in looking after people in their own environments, yeah. Yeah. not in their home. So that's why I said the respite care, mm. not permanent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They come and have a good play, different scenery or home and go back home. Mm. Yes. Because mm. I believe, you know, when you live in your own place and you're old, you live in your familiar fa surroundings, it works. And it makes looking after the person easy rather than taking them to their home and saying they're scared of this person, scared of that person, having to change your faces all the time. Right. I'm looking at it from the patient kind of it's view. True. Yes, true. yeah, patient's view. Not, uh, no, it's great. And mm. um, I think what you're doing is amazing. Some of us are proud of you, the fact that you've been able to come back home. Yes. You know, these are the things that we, we're always saying. You can go off to the UK or US, do whatever it is, but bring that skill back home. And you yeah. know, you actually said you gained the skills here, you just went to work there for a, a many years and come back. Mm. But the fact that you've been able to build this, you're employing people, yes. you know? Yes. Um, you're training people, which is really, really important. Some of us are proud of you. So we're gonna see how best we can get more of you to also, you nurses out there. Do you take internship? Do you do like, cause yes, I have I a few nurses that are coming over is it something that you would... We do take internship. Okay. We do okay. take internship, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. fabulous. So, and they should bring their skill and skill and then train my nurses as yeah, well and work true. with them. Yeah, yeah. We do have, we, we, we want to do that. Yeah. And, uh, One of the other things that they were saying is that in the hospitals they lacked 
care plans which they were very much used to and so what they were doing in the hospital was actually teaching people how to do care plans and the ones that are coming actually bring in care plans with them so that people can see the type of things that you know yes, are care plans. Yes. We um, the care plans are taught but it's not actually part of the care in, in the hospital and I we oh. this is kind of yeah so that's why in mine uh, you realize that also if you read my website we do an um, an individual care plan for every, every client okay. yeah okay. every patient yes okay can you go over the services that you provide to patients yes we offer wound care okay. leg ulcer care and also gastric okay feeding, feeding. Okay. we also look after conscious and unconscious patients okay. We do so many ear syringes. Okay. Do you do catheters? We do catheters. We okay. do every, every nursing skill okay. that you can ever tell in the book. Even if we don't know, we go and read about okay. it. And we do a care plan for that. Okay. And then we and then look after the okay. person. Yeah. Right. I know you mentioned about how you get maybe the family doctor involved. Do you do external doctors if they need? Do you just get the family doctors involved or sometimes you get external doctors to... We normally do the family doctors. Okay. We haven't done external. Okay. But I have actually brought somebody, arranged for transport somebody from outside the country. Okay. And we brought the person here. We are still looking after the person. Oh, wow. And you know what? The person was in the home and wasn't walking. Was always in the wheelchair. And you should see that person now. Wow. The person's walking. Wow. Yes. With physio and the care the one-to-one -one care. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Yes. And I think, you know, us as Ghanaians, I think we really need to start embracing nurses coming into the home. Far too long we've had our brothers and sisters trying to manage and look after our relatives, but it's not the right way because you're not a qualified nurse or a qualified doctor, and sometimes you could actually be doing more damage than good. And so this is the type of organisation that you need to embrace register with their details are on the screen and make sure that we are giving the best care to our family members whether it's our dad our fathers our uncles let's give them the best care that they can get so thank you all so much for watching i hope that i'll see you next time